first guests are gathering for a night of hope and healing as this Thursday the Ryman will host a concert for Cumberland Heights. Sorry, this is a recovery program and center for anyone battling addiction. Today we are here with Steve Lee of Cumberland Heights and Bob DePiero. He is a Hall of Fame hit songwriter. Welcome in guys. <laughs> Bob, I've got to ask you, how did you get involved in this organization? Well, uh, I am from the sex, drugs, and rock and roll era of playing guitar and playing in bands and all that stuff. So uh, I found myself at the bottom of the bottom mm -hmm. one, one day, and uh, drugs and alcohol were killing me. I, mm -hmm. I realized that I, I had a choice. I was either going to die or I was going to do something to change my life, and that was rehab. And once I got back from rehab, I got hooked up with Cumberland, Cumber, Cumberland Heights with their in, intensive outpatient service, which they have, mm -hmm. uh, and got involved in Cumberland Heights and have stayed involved ever since then. It's a, it's a powerful organization. I've had friends involved. I've gone there to speak. Uh, it's just... It's full of healing and hope. Mm, I love that. Thank you for sharing that personable story with us. Steve, talk a little bit about the mission of Cumberland Heights and what all you guys offer. Well, like, like Bob said, we've been, uh, we've been here in Nashville since 1966. Wow. So uh, we've been a strong community partner providing addiction services for uh, both adolescents, adult men, adult women, and, and young adults uh, mm. for all of that time. Mm. Long time. Whew, such a powerful group. But we were just saying before we started the show, we said addiction, even if you personally don't go through it, that ripple effect impacts so many people. Now, the concert that is coming up, it's going to be awesome. You guys have raised over $3.6 million wow. for the John Hyatt Fund, which is so incredible. It's helping adolescents, our youth. Um, talk about why it's so important to raise funds at a concert like this. Well, Cumberland Heights is a nonprofit, so everything that we do is through fundraising initiatives. And uh, as you said, we have been serving the community, both the adolescent and young adults, that this uh, particular event uh, helps support. So we have uh, our Arch Academy, which is an adolescent boys program that uh, uh, is just outside of Nashville here, uh, has 30 beds. We also have a young adult program on our primary residential campus for young men. Now, our programs extend far beyond that, but this event really supports those two in particular. Wow. Wonderful. Well, Bob, you gave us a glimpse into your story there. I know this night is billed as a night of stories and songs. Charles Kelly is on the list, who I believe has been sober for two years now. Uh, are most of the people that are taking part, do they have these similar type stories that they'll be sharing with the audience? I think that everybody there has a heart for the mission, and I will let each individual speak for their own personal stories. But uh, I do know, and I was talking to Bob earlier, so glad to have him and Charles and some of the people that are, that are bringing their own uh, 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 personal story to the, to the evening because that really resonates and I think connects with people. Mm -hmm. And we really view this as a night of connection with the community, with, uh, uh, with our donors for years past, and, uh, and for people who haven't heard of or are aware of Cumberland Heights. And I think you'll find that all of our stories are different, but they're all the same. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> as they always say, this kind of program is not a me program, it's a we program. Mm -hmm. it, it's people helping others. That's so true. Okay, we've got about 30 seconds really quick. Let's say someone out there right now is dealing with addiction. What is your best piece of advice? Reach out for help. Don't try to do it alone. Mm. Make a call to us or someone else, but definitely uh, uh, reach out for help. Talk to someone, yes. whether it's a friend, whether it's a coworker, whether it's someone you trust, tell them I'm in trouble, I need help. Mm. And that's how it starts. Thank, Thank you guys so much. Thank you for using your platform to speak on this as well. I'm um, so Thank you happy for having to be doing it. Yeah, the Thank concert you. looks amazing. To read more about Cumberland Heights, visit cumberlandheights.org. And that concert is happening at the Ryman this Thursday.